have it here. Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. We're printing our way through the D&D Monster Manual, and today we're printing this fantastic Bahir from Yasashi Kyojin Studio. Stick around to see some other Bahir options later in the video. What I love about Yasashi Kyojin is that many of their models look almost identical to the illustrations that are in the Monster Manual, and that is definitely true of this Bahir right down to the pose. Uh, the Claws are sharp, teeth are sharp, and it's a great contrast with the body, which is really unique. They just did a fantastic job with how the skin is wrinkling and twisting in all the right spots, while also showing the underlying muscle structure. It's just this really unique combination of salamander and lizard and leather, and I think it looks great. Some of the smoother spots did show a few layer lines because I print with anti-aliasing off, but if you were going to paint this true to color, I don't think that it would be an issue. Uh, the size also looks spot on. Adult Bahirs are supposed to be about 40 feet, and that's what this guy is, nose to tail. And I love the pose. You can definitely picture it chomping up characters like the T-Rex did to the lawyer in Jurassic Park. No issues with the printing at all, no issues with the supports. There were plenty of places kind of along the, the bottom of the body to put a drain hole so I could hollow it out. Uh, it did not come with a base, and so I had to print my own uh, base. In terms of the resources, um, I, I don't know if I just caught it at a good time, but when I downloaded this, this model was actually free on my mini factory. I don't know if that will always be the case, but in this case it was. Didn't use much resin, took about five hours to print, and so we are still at 68 bucks, and we are getting close to two full days of printing. On my mini factory there are a bunch of different uh, shapes and styles of Bahirs. So here's one from Mammoth Factory. Uh, this is a super dynamic style, very uh, kind of serpentine, uh, very imposing. I really like this one. Uh, here's one from Lord of the Print. Uh, I, I mean, I, I love Lord of the Print overall. It, this one feels very similar to the Basilisk we did in the last episode. And here's one from Pest Lucas. Yeah, I really like this one too. Uh, lots, of, lots of detail. Yeah, those eyes are pretty cool and the teeth. So final thoughts, a uh, great model. I wish it came with a base. The details are fantastic. Um, just that, that texture feels right for this, especially it's so close to the, the image that's actually in the monster manual itself. So next time, we're printing a D&D icon, The Beholder.